Tracking breaking news out of Woodland tonight, where police say one man is dead after a shooting there. Let's go now to CBS 13's Rob Malcolm. He's live at the scene tonight, learning more about what happened here. Rob, what can you tell us? Yeah, that's right, Marissa. We can uh, tell you right now we, we can confirm that one person is dead. Now, Woodland police are still working the crime scene here on North Street and Elm Street. They're focusing their attention at the end of the block here, but they have been walking up and down the block picking up shell casings. Now, Woodland police tell us that shots rang out here about 6.54 p.m., and they're still looking for witnesses. Woodland police canvass Elm Street where the late evening shooting took place. It sounded like a 22. Like, 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 like a little pop, 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 pop. Victor Marquez was startled by what he heard as those shots rang out just before 7 o'clock. And I went out there and this woman was crying and she wanted to throw up. Police arrived on scene and quickly found her victim laying in the street. Uh, we responded and it turns out somebody had already located a male on the sidewalk and that male, an adult male, was actually pronounced deceased on scene. Second shooting in two days. Yeah. Does that kind of frighten you at all? Or? Yeah, it's, this neighborhood is getting crazy at nighttime. Jacob Hogue wasn't far off. This is the second shooting over the weekend in Woodland, one taking place late Friday, early Saturday, leaving one person with life threatening injuries. We don't have any reason to believe that it is related, um, but you know, we're at the initial, we're at the very, very initial part of this investigation. And Sunday night, police no closer to finding an answer as to what took place here. We just don't know. We, we haven't been able to find any direct witness to the incident. So um, we're trying to, we're doing a canvas of the area right now. And back here live and talking with Sergeant Dallas Hyde, he says they expect to be out here throughout the night as they try to find some answers as to what took place here. Again, just trying to find any witnesses that may have seen what happened here.